Sausages, anyone? Yes, yes please. please! Oh, I love stargazing. <laughs> Me too. What's the nearest star, Big Bear? The closest star to Earth is the Sun Raggles. The Sun is a star? Yes. And Earth moves around the Sun with seven other planets. We call it the Solar System. Can I borrow your football, Will? Oh, uh, uh, imagine this ball is the Sun. Oh, this potato is the planet Mercury. Oh, this one's Venus. And here's Earth. That's us. We all live on a big potato. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. How do you know all this, Big Bear? Oh, uh, Grandfather Bear told me all about space when I was little. I've always wondered what it would be like to go there. I know all about space, too. The moon is made of cheese. Did you know that? <laughs> I'm afraid not, Bluebird. Uh, the moon is made of rock. <laughs> cheese! <laughs> Bluebird? Oh. There are lots of other things to see at night, like the Great Bear. I can't see any bears up there. Not a real bear, but if you join those stars over there... There! That's the Great Bear. It doesn't look much like a bear. What about now? <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat our sausages and potatoes before they get cold. <laughs> I'm going to eat the air. <laughs> <laughs> when we've finished eating, I've got a surprise for you. <sighs> Come down, Bluebird. I'm sorry, I laughed about the moon being made of cheese. Don't worry, Bluebird. I used to think that too, until Big Bear told me all about it. Hmm. You won't be laughing when I'm the first bird in space. Blast off! Um, are you okay in there, Big Bear? <laughs> I'm fine. Couldn't be better. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've got to show you. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, what is it? Oh, it's my telescope, Archie. It was given to me by my grandfather, Bear. We spent hours looking at the planets. Can we look at them too? Of course. Let's see. Ah, I can see Venus. I want to see. And me? Don't worry. You can all have a turn. Wow. It's really bright. It's the brightest planet of all. And the hottest. Does anyone live on Venus? Uh, no, Holly. Earth's the only planet where there are living things. Oh, I can see a big orange star. Oh, let me see. That's the planet Mars. It's covered in orangey-red dust. <laughs> So, who was fastest? Uh, me, of course. Oh, Manny? Bluebird? You're about the same. Ugh, I'm only just getting started. Call me Rocket Bird! Was 
nearly a disaster. Oh, no. The telescope. I'm sure it's fine, Big Bear. It doesn't sound fine. No. It's broken. Uh, sorry, Big Bear. It was my fault. No, it's my fault. I wanted to be Rocket Bird. It's all right. I knew it wouldn't last forever. It was already old when Grandfather Bear gave it to me. Maybe I could try and fix it. I don't know how I'll ever see the planets again. You will see them again, Big Bear. Come on, Rosie. I've got something to help you see the planets. Thanks, Raggles. But it doesn't help me see far away things. What about this periscope? I've got it. This will help you see into space. Ta-da! My binoculars! You're all very kind, but I'm afraid these things won't help me see the planets. But I can see right across to Oakley with these. Hmm, I wonder if he can help. Big Bear taught us so much about the planets, it's a shame he can't use his old telescope anymore. All because I tried to be the first bird in space. Perhaps you can use what Big Bear taught you about the planets to help him see them. Yes! Maybe we can make him the first bear in space. I've got this steering wheel and these old joysticks. There! I've drawn the planets. Whew. Twig's coming through. to get this space mission off the ground. <laughs> oh, hello. Have you fixed my telescope, Will? Not yet, but I think I can. It'll just take a while longer. And in the meantime, we've got a treat for you. Ground control to Major Manny and Captain Bluebird. Are you reading me? We read you. Over. Positions, please. Ready, Big Bear? It's time to head off for a voyage across the universe. Look out for the shooting stars! everyone. We couldn't have done it without all the things you taught us. You're not just Big Bear. You're a great bear. <laughs> Night, Raggles. Rosie, if there's a great bear, there must be a great rabbit. But where is it? Um, maybe no one's found it yet. Perhaps you could become a space explorer and get... Oh! Found it, Rosie! Look! Mission accomplished! <laughs> Across the universe. The friends were gathered outside Big Bear's den for a special feast. Sausages, anyone? Asked Big Bear. I love stargazing announced Holly. Raggles wanted to know what the nearest star is. Big Bear tells Raggles 
The closest star to the Earth is the Sun. Earth moves around the Sun with seven other planets, continues Big Bear. Using Will's football and some baked potatoes, Big Bear names all the planets in the solar system. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. <laughs> Grandfather Bear told me all about space when I was little, explains Big Bear. Bluebird thinks she knows all about space and tells Manny the moon is made of cheese. This makes everyone laugh. <laughs> Big Bear tells them all about the constellation called the Great Bear. I can't see any bears up there, says Holly, looking up at the sky. Big Bear explains it's not a real bear, but if you join the stars up with your finger, it looks a bit like a bear shape. Bluebird is sulking in her nest. I'm sorry I laughed about the moon being made of cheese, says Manny. You won't be laughing when I'm the first bird in space, announces Bluebird. Blast off! Later that evening, Big Bear has a surprise for his friends. He shows them Grandfather Bear's old telescope. Can we see the planets? asks Raggles excitedly. Raggles sees the planet Venus through the telescope. Ooh, wow. Everyone has a turn looking at the planets. Wow, it's really bright, says Will. Big Bear tells them Venus is the brightest planet of all and the hottest. Holly looks through the telescope and sees a big orange planet. <gasps> That's the planet Mars, says Big Bear. It's covered in orangey-red dust. Meanwhile, Bluebird and Manny are racing to see who can be the first bird into space. Just call me Rocket Bird, <laughs> screeches Bluebird. Suddenly, disaster strikes. Bluebird and Manny collide, tumbling to the ground. They bump into Big Bear's telescope, which collapses and falls to bits. Oh no, the telescope, cries Will. Big Bear picks up the shattered pieces. It's broken, he says sadly. Manny and Bluebird are very sorry. Will offers to try and fix it, and Big Bear wonders how he will ever get to see the planets again. Raggles shows Big Bear his magnifying glass, and Rosie offers her periscope. But they're not strong enough to see far away things. Will announces he can see all the way across to Oakley with his binoculars, which gives Rosie an idea. Rosie visits Oakley. Big Bear taught us so much about the planets, it's a shame he can't use his old telescope anymore, she tells him. Oakley suggests that they could use what Big Bear taught them about the planets to help him see them again. Raggles draws a picture of the planets. Will finds an old steering wheel and some joysticks. With Rosie's help, the friends paint some balls to make the different planets. It's time to get this space mission off the ground, announces Rosie. Will tells Big Bear he can fix his telescope. It'll just take a bit of time. Meanwhile, we've got a treat for you, adds Rosie. They take Big Bear to the studio. Teal takes charge of the space mission. Ground control to Major Manny and Captain Bluebird, she whispers as the birds fly over the skylight, pretending to be shooting stars. Inside, Big Bear is dressed in a special silver spacesuit. It's time for a voyage across the universe, announces Rosie. 
Big Bear looks up at the skylight and sees shooting stars passing overhead and painted planet balls on sticks. Whoa. Finally, the glowing fluffy bugs make the shape of the Great Bear constellation. Ooh. It's just like being in space. Oh, thank you so much, everyone, says Big Bear. <laughs> Rosie tells him they couldn't have done it without all the things he taught them. You're not just Big Bear, says Holly. You're our Great Bear. And she gives him a great big <laughs> hug. <laughs> the end.